Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in to yet another Hang With Heavy video. Hey, Hang With Heavy today as I take you to the whiteboard of knowledge and I explain the field welding symbol. Alright, now if you've been hanging with Heve, then you know that we've been talking about the basic welding symbol. This is our reference line. This is our arrow. This is something new though, is it not? This is called the field weld. And what this means is that this weld is to be made out into the field or on the construction site. You're bringing a piece of equipment in, sometimes you have to break it down in smaller pieces or weldments. These weldments are then put together in the field with the field welding symbol. Let's take a look at this particular welding symbol. You'll notice that right in the tail it says Note 1. Now I'm not sure, really sure what Note 1 is, but I bet it references something to do with this U-groove that you're seeing right here. Now keep in mind that we talked about the welding symbol looks a lot like the weld that you're going to be actually making. So this is our welding symbol. Now here's a little something new, a little crown to the top of it. That is the kind of finish that they want. They want a nice radius finish to the top. And I can assure you that if you're following AWS D1.1, that's going to be 1 8 inch or less. But let's take a look at this right here. This is the field welding symbol. And now what this means is that you are indeed going to be making this weld in the field. Now, <clears throat> your welding procedure specification will tell you what type of electrodes to use, um, what type of preheat that you're going to be using, all of that. So this is what the joint may or may not look like. Let's say it's a very thick piece of steel. You're going to prepare the area for welding. There's going to be a, a, a solid fit up. It's not going to be a gap. So they're just going to ask you to uh, prepare it like that. Now, remember we talked about note one? Note well, note one would probably reference this joint saying to prepare it by some sort of thermal gouging. And that could either be a plasma gouging or a, um, a carbon arc gouging, either one of those. So if you see this on a welding symbol, you know that it's going to be made in the field. It's going to be a U-groove with some crown reinforcement. We're going to read note one. Note one's going to tell us some very important information. And then the weld joint that we're going to prepare is going to look a lot like this. Remember that as the welder, your job is not to determine how this is to be done. Your job is to do it and to produce high quality weld deposit. So hang with Heve as we go on and talk next about the all around welding symbol. Hey, and you know what I want you to do. Now, out of my thousands of uh, people that are going to view this, I want you to like, share, subscribe. Reach over there, hit that button, and I'll catch you outside.